right, today, folks, we are doing something that I've been wanting to do for about three months now. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory. So I came up with this idea and I was like, you know, why don't I see if I could spend, I think it was like 24 hours in the Jeep, woke up early, left, made some food at this place around Madison. Um, met this guy who was fishing. He caught this giant catfish. I'll show you a little clip of that. Dude it was just set up in this and pulled out that. It is absolutely giant, dude. Holy. It didn't really end up turning into anything. I just kind of got really bored really fast. Went fishing, bought like a hundred dollar little fishing pole at uh, Cabela's, <laughs> caught like one fish, never uploaded the video, but you know, I was thinking, I've had a lot of people commenting about videos and I'm like, man, I really need to make a video. I've just been, not been able to think about anything. I was like, hey, I have this video idea because I was looking through my notes and I'm like, well, I can't really do it uh, outside anymore. I could if I really wanted to be ballsy and do that, but it's pretty cold out. But then I was like, hey, wait a minute. You know, why don't I just do it in my garage? It's heated. I got a, I got a fire going right now and it's about 50 degrees. I can probably get up to 55, maybe 60 tonight. And I'm like, why don't I just sleep in the Jeep tonight and be like, can you really sleep in a Jeep TJ? Just bare bones with no nothing really in it. Um, so we're gonna try that. I've already gotten a couple sleeping positions from the last time that I tried to make this video, but we're gonna see what happens. I, uh, I gotta grab a sleeping bag. I gotta grab a pillow. We might hop in a different vehicle because it's snowing out. There's ice on the roads, there's salt, and the, this, this thing isn't going out on the roads. Uh, cause you know, I don't want it to see something get all rusty and become a, you know, a rusty turd from Wisconsin. Cause I flew all the way, like I've said in my video, my last video, one of my last videos that, you know, I went down to Tennessee and bought this, yada, yada, yada. Go watch that video. It's right up here. But, you know, I don't want to waste this vehicle. Like, I don't, I don't want to like waste it out by, uh, getting it all rusty and it just having it, having it be a turd in the next five years. So might go and get some food and just like hang out in the garage and chill and cook out, hang out with you guys, talk, uh, probably going to hit a workout and then we're just going to load the fire up and then sleep in here and see how it goes. But I'm pretty excited because I've been wanting to do this video and then it's just like, I just felt like I needed to be out in some like out in the open somewhere like at a campground or something but it's like you know i could just make this video at home for you guys just to test it out so you guys at home can be like oh okay you know i'll try that sometime if i'm in a pinch you know i could sleep in here i have slept in here before i've slept in the seat that's another long story but i had to do it and it was winter and it was pretty damn cold i didn't get much sleep that night and it did suck so we're not gonna do that my plan is to get a good night's sleep in here, not be super cold. I run pretty hot anyway, so there's no way I'm really going to get cold in here with a good sleeping bag and a good pillow and a, and a, a winter cap on, but I'm excited. So let's go inside, grab some supplies, and set up a little bed, kind of see what we're working with here. All right, well, we're down in my super creepy basement and lo and behold, there's already a sleeping bag right where I want it to be. Uh, bingo, right there, baby. So I'm gonna take this sleeping bag. I don't know if there's another one. This is a Kelty sleeping bag. It's a pretty heavy duty sleeping bag that my parents have. Um, I could grab a wool blanket to kind of line the bottom. I do have a military pad that I probably will be using, but that's it for the basement. We got our sleeping pad. Um, what pillow do we want? 
I don't know, maybe this pillow. All right, we also got our pillow. Now we are going to head out into the garage. Well, folks, got the supplies. Got a one big old sleeping bag, a decent pillow for sleeping on, and we got a military grade sleeping pad that I'm gonna use to sleep on in here. So, I don't know how this is gonna work and how well it's going to sleep. So, obviously that's the point of that video, so we're gonna find out, but I'm gonna show you guys how I am envisioning I'm gonna set this up. Well, I also just realized that the last time I made this video, I did not have the passenger seat in, which I currently do right now, right there. I have the passenger seat in, so I don't know. I mean, I definitely could take it out. It would take me about f five minutes, but I mean, huh, that's a little bit of a problem, but... I really don't know if there's any other way that I could do this without taking that out. Because I'm so tall, I'm almost 6'3". But, um, yeah. It's going to be pretty interesting. I definitely could. I definitely could take that seat out and make this a lot easier. Just like if you were camping and you already had that seat out and you were flying solo then yeah, you'd be able to sleep in this by yourself. But I mean, if you were used to sleeping in a ball and you're shorter than me, six foot or less, you'd probably be able to get away with just sleeping without taking the seat out. But for me, I definitely need the leg room. I don't know if I'd be able to curl up, but we're gonna try it right now and see what happens. All right, well, we'll see what happens here. Didn't have, well, I definitely had the passenger seat out. But if I think about it, you know, I usually do kind of sleep in a ball anyway. Um, I definitely could. Oh, one sec, I gotta close this, the, the back door. So actually, I feel like I almost could. I'm actually pretty darn tired right now. So I think if you're tired enough. Oh, my back. Oh, I think that's it right there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. But I think it might work without taking that out. So I think that we should... We might do two videos with this, now that I'm thinking about it. Do one with the seat in and one with the seat out. And see and compare. So we're just gonna do it with the seat in, see what happens, see how comfortable it is. But if you kind of just ride alone anyway or ride with other people, but you know, obviously they have their own Jeeps and you just take the seat out for more space for uh, stuff like your off-roading stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just compare it and see which one's better. Because I feel like this, honestly, because I do sleep in a kind of a ball anyway, that with this door shut, you can kind of like press against it. And it's actually pretty comfortable, not going to lie. And with a sleeping bag, I don't think it'd be too horrible. I do kind of move around at night, but not as much as I used to when I was a kid. So I think I could probably stay pretty still. And if I was wearing more comfortable stuff and not wearing jeans, boots, and a sweatshirt, no long sleeve. But I think it would be better. I don't even know if I really need this pad to be truthful, but we might run with it. But honestly, as of right now, I, I feel like the pad's not going to do a whole lot, and I'm kind of fine with sleeping on a harder 
surface. I've slept on the ground tons of times as a kid. And from other reasons. <laughs> but uh, I just got to get tired enough. So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, probably go get some food. Cook up some food in the garage. I could cook it up in the house. But it might just be easier to talk to you guys out here. So my parents aren't annoying. So I don't really know what I'm in the mood for. But I make a killer burger. And... I might do this, what time is it? It's about five o'clock. Um, probably gonna eat after my workout. I think I might go and get some food right now. Kind of decide what we're gonna eat when we get there. Probably just gonna go to Walmart. Decide what I'm gonna eat when we get there. Probably gonna end up being burgers because it's just easy. <laughs> or maybe something else, but make get that, <clears throat> come back, pre-workout work out, take a shower, make some food, talk about stuff, and then go to sleep. That's the plan. I'll see you guys at Walmart. French fries, check. All right, we got buns, we got patties, we got some deli meat for the rest of the week. Uh, not entirely sure what else we need right now, but Got the goods, got the main shit right now, so we're looking pretty good. All right, well, they didn't have the normal cheeses that I like, the, the Vasco ones, so I'm trying out these Buffalo Wings ones, we'll see if those rip, and then we're getting some of these Jones. So I think we might be good. Had to get some cheese, forgot about that. We got a little bit of cheese left at the house, but not much, but. God, I could get so many snacks right now. This is calling my name right now. Oh. Alright, got the goods. Well, I'm going out of Walmart right now. <laughs> Gonna load them up in the old bed. I'll head back to the house, baby. Just finished the workout, gonna go inside, take a shower, get some food going. Gotta cook the fries inside. Probably, I don't know. I might just cook the fries or the burgers out here. It might just be easier. Cause, you know, it's not as messy, but. See so you guys after I take a shower, we're gonna get some food going. And yeah, all right, got the fries, oven's heating up. It's gonna be a little while. The fries take about 25 minutes to really get them to where you want them. It might take a little bit less because I kind of let them sit out and thaw out a little bit. So it might be a little bit better, but when there's, when there's about 10 minutes left on these is usually when I go and put the burgers on. Get a little table thing set out there. But yeah, I'm pretty hungry after that workout. My body needs some protein. It's gonna be a good meal. All right, well, fries are just about done. Gonna get the burgers going. Just get this pan all heated up. But yeah, got two patties, all seasoned up, been seasoned up for quite a while. Um, obviously buns. I'm gonna go in and check on the fries. Be back out here in a sec to put these puppies on the grill. All right, it seems pretty good. Fries are still cooking. I'm gonna flip these on in about a couple seconds. Bingo. 
Let's go check on the fries. All right, well, the fries are done. They're sitting in the house right now. Gotta flip these right now. All right, these get about four minutes. In about two minutes, put some peanut butter on, put some Munster on, put a lid on it, let that cheese kind of melt over it. It's gonna be really good. All right, now we're putting the peanut butter on. I don't need a whole lot. Oh, that's, that's good enough, that's all we're gonna get. good boom goes the lid on dang look at that that looks spooky oh. no down there pretty good hold time check got about a minute left it's looking pretty good got all that set up dirty dishes yada 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 it's gonna be good Look at that, it looks nice and good. I'm gonna go inside and grab the fries. I'm gonna meet you guys inside the garage. All right, well, food is done. We got two burgers, cheese, peanut butter, a little wall burger sauce on it, some fries. Cooked to perfection, it's pretty good. I'm gonna eat this. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit about sleeping arrangements. It's three, pin three minutes past 10. So, still already kind of getting late. I'm not super tired. I really shouldn't have taken that pre-workout because I'm going to probably stay up till like 1 in the morning. But, you know, I'm dumb. I don't got anything going on tomorrow. We're going to make it a good time. But, in the meantime, thanks for watching and keep watching. The video's not over yet. All right, well... We set up the pad, blew it up, because I just thought that that would be a good idea. So we're looking right now. Got my sleeping bag out. Got that. Fire's going pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, hopefully everything goes good. It's just a, not really a dumb idea, but it's kind of weird to do this in my garage. <laughs> But, yeah, we're going to get it done. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's 8.30. Thursday, the 8th, the next day. And yes, I did sleep in here. And yes, it was quite interesting. So, for some reason, I was very sick the entire time. I didn't go to bed till 2.30 in the morning. I had a stuffy nose the entire time. Dry going to sleep, couldn't breathe. Cause I couldn't breathe out of my nose because it was running the entire time. And then went to bed at like 2.30, woke up at 4.30, went to the bathroom, came back in. Somehow my runny nose just kind of went away and then now we're here where we are right now. So I got six hours of sleep. Not horrible, I've had less than that. But that little four hour period from about 4.30 to now, it's actually really good sleep. That little two hour deal, two and a half hour deal, not the greatest, cause I just probably couldn't breathe. But when I woke up, I was like pretty refreshed. So, you know, it's, it's not the best sleep that you'll ever have, but honestly, if you need to do it in a pinch, 
for some odd reason, it's doable. It's very doable. Or if you don't want to get like a rooftop tent and you want to go off road, uh, I mean, it's really not bad. It's kind of enjoyable. Um, I'm 6'2", almost 6'3", like I said earlier, and I didn't really have to remove that seat because I kind of sleep with my knees bent anyway, like towards my chest and like a, like almost like a fetal position. <laughs> so it works out pretty good. I did wrestle around a lot, but I found out that the best kind of way to sleep was to be kind of going from corner to corner, I guess. So you'd be like from here, you'd have your feet that way. And then you'd have your head here. It'd be the farthest, the most room you'd really have. I mean, maybe if you had the front seat out, you could very well, I don't know. And maybe that's another video we'll have to try. Uh, fit two people in here. We'll have to test it out for you guys. But, you know, you can, you can clearly fit one person in here. But it also would make no sense. Because if you had two people riding in here and took the seat out for two people to sleep in here, It'd be kind of a weird circumstance. You'd have to have like a Jeep TJ two door. I mean, they're only two door. And another one, and then one of them be for all the supplies. And then this one be for sleeping, which actually does kind of make sense now if you were off-roading and filming. But, I mean, maybe you could fit two people. Like a small female or a so, small male. You'd have to, you definitely would have to be small. And you'd have to probably cover up these like little spots for where the uh, backseat go in, take this bracket out. These little tie downs for ratchet straps, yeah, those kind of suck when you like kind of just smash your elbow into it in the middle of the night when you can't really tell. But. Honestly, all you really need is a pad. And surprisingly, I have bad back pain most of the time. My back actually feels better than normal. It's probably because it's just like all I was sleeping on was a stiff, you know, f uh, body and a pad of a car. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It, it was a good experience. So now I know if need be. It does get really, really cold in this, though, like during the winter, because there's not that much insulation. But it, you know, it could get the job done. I actually got so hot last night and kind of itchy that I had to take my sweatshirt off and just kind of air out for a bit. And this was like later in the night when the fire was dying down. I didn't really uh, keep to the fire the whole night, like occasionally. Like, I don't even know, I think at like four I went in and threw like two logs in, two or three logs and I was just like, F it, and then went back to bed. But yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching, and as always, just keep having fun. Peace!